Is duodenal ulcer, what's it like? Does it hurt? It hurts too, but it's a little bit different. When you eat, you cause a lot of bicarbonate and buffering of the acid. So duodenal ulcers actually get better when you eat and they're worse on an empty stomach when there's no bicarbonate, there's no food to buffer the aspirin. So duodenal ulcers classically get better when you eat, worse on an empty stomach, so and they, they tend to wake you up at night. Ah, so what's the pain like when, it, when you've got an active duodenal ulcer? It, it hurts. It's just a basic active pain in the center. It tends to be constant, but it's not 24 hours a day. It tends to come and go throughout the day. And if they tell you they wake up in the middle of the night with that pain in the pit of the stomach, you're, That's a sign. you're thinking do a denal ulcer. Yes, absolutely. Uh, is it more dangerous, less dangerous than a gastric ulcer? I guess, I, I guess if we say gastric ulcers, a certain percentage of them can be cancer, whereas duodenal ulcers are almost always infection, H. pylori, or medication induced. So I'd say if you had to pick one, I'd rather have a duodenal ulcer than does, a gastric ulcer. Does it bleed as a complication? Does it have bleeding? Yes, duodenal ulcers can bleed because there's a lot of big blood vessels in that area there. They also can cause scar tissue or obstruction because there's it's not it's sort of a tight area there with the liver and the gallbladder all in that same area there. That must be very difficult, and that's why a history is so important. It is. Uh, obstruction, what do, you, what do you feel and see and ask for so we will know on obstruction? They usually have vomiting spells after eating. They do better with smaller foods and low residue, not very fibrous foods. But it's one of the things you, you sort of ask people about, and if you hear it, you get nervous that there's some narrowing or obstruction going on.